Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ella and in today's video we are going to be doing a Freshers Week vlog. Now, Freshers Week is obviously a bit different this year. There's not going to be tons of clubbing. I don't know how much going out there will be, but they definitely will. I mean, I definitely will be going out this week. It's Freshers Week. Are you not ashamed of yourself? Are you not embarrassed? This is really embarrassing. But it's probably going to be a bit different. So really, I'm going to be vlogging Freshers Week during the pandemic, which is going to be interesting. <laughs> So just before we get into this video, I would just like to say that this video is very kindly sponsored by Nord Green. So Nord Green is a brand that I've been a huge fan of for a really long time. They are a Scandinavian watch brand based in Copenhagen, Denmark. And in terms of sustainability, the watches are super ethically made. All of the watches are made in Danish owned union certified factories. All of the packaging they use is eco-friendly. It's all made of upcycled plastics, FSC certified cartons and carbon neutral transport, which I think is absolutely incredible for a brand to be that sustainable. They are also super involved with lots of different charities and they have this amazing giving back program, including charities like Water for Good, Pratham UK and Cool Earth. So in terms of the actual brand itself, they are super, super sustainable, super, super ethical and their watches are also incredible. So this is the packaging that it comes in. It comes in this super luxe, like navy blue packaging and when it arrives, it genuinely feels so expensive. And then as you open it up, Da, da, da. So the watches are super customizable. You can design them to your own liking, your own colors, your own straps. And I went for, so I went for this super beautiful silver mesh design with the native face. And oh my gosh, I can't even explain to you how luxe and high quality this feels. This is what the watch looks like when it's on. And honestly, I'm just absolutely obsessed. Silver is my color. I just feel like silver jewelry is so timeless and classy. And this watch is just the most beautiful thing that I've ever seen in my whole life. I also picked out an extra strap so you can actually change the strap so if you get bored of one style you can change it up really easily. I went for a white strap just because I think that that's really timeless and classy as well. If you'd like to check out Nord Green and all of their beautiful watches then you can check out the link in my description and you can use code LMAH for 15% off your orders. Now let's get into the rest of the Freshest Week vlog. I'm currently vlogging on my phone because I didn't bring my camera out, I wasn't planning on vlogging, but guess who I'm with? Oh my god! So, I, Georgia invited me out last minute to get Rare at Revolution and we've got cherry zombies. Lovely. And now we're gonna go yes. back to my boyfriend's house for a bit. Yes, we're gonna. I don't have your boyfriend. I know, first time meeting. So I met, I met, I met so many subscribers tonight. I literally met about. Five different times as I was walking to town and met these five And they said so they watched my channel too, and I was yeah. like, oh my god, stop it. It's well, apparently most of you watch both of us. Oh my basically, god. Basically, 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 Sophia and Chintzy are at this point. Uh, basically, you know what? The new Sophia and Chintzy are. I love it. Basically. We're in Nottingham as well. I know, it's crazy. <laughs> but yeah, do you know what's wild as well? I met Georgia in February, and we've gotten so close to the lockdown, and now we're literally like internet besties. <laughs> and I met her, and she knows everything about me as well. But anyway. I'm gonna stop vlogging. Okay, so excuse the absolute state of me. I went out last night to Revolution um, with Georgia, Amelia, and then, yeah, met up with some other friends and that was really fun. We found out this morning that my housemate is actually showing symptoms of COVID-19, which is not ideal, considering I'm just starting back at uni. Um, but it can't be helped and you know, we actually had so many plans this week as well Like Oshan's friend from Wales was gonna come down. We were gonna go out to Rock City and it was gonna be really fun But obviously that can't happen anymore um, And that's fine But what can we do? It is what it is and you know, it's not ideal But this is just the world we're living in right now. It's just crazy. Luckily we all really get on in this house So like we're all really good friends. So uh, it's gonna be absolutely fine um and we'll do lots of things together as a house um and obviously i have youtube to keep me busy and i am starting uni this week so i'm gonna be busy with that as well so in that way i'm kind of like it's probably i don't know thing is also the bars are gonna start closing at 10 anyway so i don't think i'd be going out that much anyway so in that sense i don't think it's that big of a deal it's just a bit like oh. before i got locked down yesterday I actually got my nails done. I don't know how well you can actually see them. I got my nails done yesterday and it's really cute like white design 
on them on the edges i think they're so pretty but obviously now i'm in quarantine so i've not even got anyone to show these beautiful nails to which is kind of sad this isn't really going to be like a standard freshers week vlog considering i can't go anywhere um but it's still going to be a vlog nonetheless and we'll be doing online uni so i guess there's that it's not ideal it's really not ideal but hey ho that's life um in other news myself and amy started watching the fall a few nights ago and oh my gosh it's so good it's so so good i mean it's scary it's absolutely terrifying but it's so so good like if you're thinking about watching it i could not recommend it enough it's honestly amazing um it's really unnerving though so it's got Jamie Dornan and the woman from um, Sex Education in it, and they're absolutely brilliant. They're both such good actors. But yeah, I really recommend watching that. We're gonna we're gonna binge a few episodes tonight, I think, um, and then we're gonna go to bed early because I think we're both tired. We both went out last night, so we're both really tired. <laughs> I just thought whilst I'm here getting ready I am going to show you guys something that I always always get asked about so I always wave my hair like I used to always curl my hair but ever since I bought my waver I literally you'll notice that in literally all of my pictures and all of my vlogs the only way I do my hair is by waving it and I'm going to show you guys how I do it so pretty much I've just sectioned my hair into two I've just like bundled it all on top of my head and I'm just brushing out be underneath that's really important that you brush out your hair really well because once you set your waves you do not want to brush them out so you want to make sure, make sure your hair is all untangled and ready to go so i actually use the beauty works waver and i use it on the highest heat setting now listen i used to use it on the lower one but it just takes so long and so i know this is probably not a good thing but i do use it on the high heat setting just because it gets it done so much faster and then i always heat protect my hair the heat protectant spray i've got at the moment is the ghd one um i literally got this with my ghd so i don't know if you can buy this separately i'm sure you can but i actually really love this i think it's really good um and i literally just do two sprays run it through with my fingers do it on the other side too now usually i put that on whilst i'm drying my hair so like after i get out of the shower but i forgot and i don't want my hair to die so always heat protect your hair kids now i always start from the back so i section my hair into two on each side and i always start from the back and i take a section maybe like this now it's normally like a side section um and then i brush it through i make sure it's quite flat like you can you see that i can like pinch that with my fingers and it's quite flat and then I take my waivers and I will actually do it from the back. So I take it on this side instead of like that way, just because I think it makes the waves a lot more uniform. And then what you want to do is you want to start about an inch away from your roots and just pinch your hair like that. And then I leave it for maybe about six seconds. Then you unpinch and then where like your kink is from like the last barrel. So like that bit, I just place the waver over that and that's how i make the waves so uniform and that is my first wave and then i literally don't touch this now i don't brush any of them out i don't touch them you want to make sure they completely cool down before you run your fingers through them or whatever else but then i just gradually work my way to the front pieces of the hair Okay, so I've now waved all of the under bits and I'm just left with my, um, I don't know what you call it, fringe bit? Front bit? I don't know what you call it. I don't know what the technical name is. My bangs, maybe. Is that an American phrase? Who knows? But what I like to do is I like to separate them from the rest of my hair, like this. And then um, I just run my fingers through them, make sure they're all nice and brushed through and i separate them into two so this side i always start about that far from the root as well because if you start too far it genuinely just like goes up and it doesn't look good so i start maybe like there 
and I just wave it all the way down. Make sure you don't leave this on your hair for too long as well because it can actually like fry your hair. So you have to be really careful. Also, a little tip, but the way you make it more like, um, make the waves more crisp is I just like quickly go off it and let some of the steam out. Um, and then it just makes it like more crisp and then there's a wave. And then this is the front bit. Now these are the money pieces. These are the pieces that will make the most difference. So I literally always start like maybe that far away from my head because if you do it like i said if you do it close it just goes up so you want to make sure you're like maybe there and then there is one side of the waves and then i do and i'm just going to do the same thing on the other side and then finally you just spray your whole head with hairspray scrunch up and you're pretty much done Okay, so I'm now in bed and I've just been catching up with a few lectures and stuff and the culprit to why we've been stuck inside <laughs> for the past week during freshers is here. Say hi to the vlog. Hello. Do you want to say hi to the vlog, Liz? Hello. <laughs> yeah, so it's not been good. He's just come to bother me um, for the seventh time today. He's going to go make brownies for me though, so that's a, a redeeming quality. It's my apology for having coronavirus <laughs> <laughs> to be fair we don't actually know if you have coronavirus yet he sent off his test today and hopefully it's gonna come back negative if it comes back negative we can all be free and live our lives but it's not looking likely it's not looking, <laughs> it's not looking likely yeah. do you want to tell tell the people what it's like what what your symptoms are like go on then. okay go on then uh, i just can't taste or smell anything so food's been pretty boring <laughs> uh, <laughs> Sort of losing the motivation to eat, really. But yeah. I'm unfortunately I don't have worse symptoms. Actually. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what? I do actually feel really sorry for him. <laughs> I do actually feel really sorry for you <laughs> because he literally, um, he can't smell anything, and he said everything just tastes like plain rice, like that kind of bland nothingness. Co he said coffee tastes like warm liquid. That is so sad. I hate to say it. It is so sad. But anyway, um. Andrew's gonna go make me brownies and I'll show you what the brownies look like. We'll judge your cooking. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, Andrew's just gone downstairs to go make us all brownies and I'm in bed and I'm currently catching on my lectures. As you saw earlier, I was doing my first online lecture today in a module called Discourses of Health and Work and truthfully, I don't actually know what it's really about but apparently it's all about like communication in the health sector in the workplace so it's talking about like how so it's all about like how the government communicates health crises and like health terminology to like normal people and in mental health and stuff which i think is really really relevant so that's why i took the module because it is like very relevant with coronavirus and everything so i thought i'd take that um and i'm still working through that lecture now because i'm slow um but yeah i've also got myself another vitamin c drink to try and keep healthy with my um infected housemate <laughs> um we're all laughing about it but it's obviously not funny before you guys are like oh my god ella you're taking the piss out of coronavirus i'm not um but it's kind of like if we don't laugh we'll cry so yeah also fun fact but i made a really odd impulse buy the other day and i went against my own advice but basically because i've been stuck indoors and because so much of my stuff is online i actually decided to buy a printer so this is my printer cheeky printer tour it's just the hp uh, um, 2700 series i'll leave the link in the description if you want to buy it but it was literally around 50 pounds it's really cheap it's got like a little photocopier and it's basically connected to my phone and my laptop so i can just print wirelessly and it's done really well so far also i did some really productive things earlier and i want to show you guys so that someone can appreciate my productiveness because i'm actually really proud of myself so i made these little tables for basically to try and keep myself organized so each of these is like um one of my modules so i'm only doing three modules this term this one is discourses of health and work the one i was talking about earlier basically i've made a little table where 
basically this is each week and then these are each the things I've got to do each week because obviously everything's online it's really hard to stay organized because you're not actually going to things so you have to make sure that you keep on top of everything so I've each week for this module I have to do a lecture I have to do the lecture discussion um which is like after our lecture we have like a Microsoft Teams meeting where we discuss everything up in the lecture and then I have to prep for my seminar I have to do the reading and obviously I have to do the seminar itself but obviously because there's a lot of stuff and I've got to do that for every module I figured that's going to be really hard to keep on top of so I've just made like a little tick list so when I do each of these I'm just going to tick it off um and I've got it here so then it reminds me that I've got lots of work to do as well and then underneath that I've also got like the assessment so that I can keep reminding myself and then under that I've also got the assessment so I can keep reminding myself of what I actually need to do and like what actually is the overall aim of um the module also i've got like when the lectures are when the discussion is when like whether we have a weekly task or not and i've got the same thing for contemporary fiction but i've also got the reading list on here because it's all novels in like the order that we're going to do them um assessment information and i've got the same thing for gothic although the reading list for the gothic is over here because i thought he made he made the reading list really funny and he's like got blood on it and stuff because gothic is all about like vampires and monsters and stuff um i thought it was kind of cool so i just printed out that and put it here and i've also got my timetable here so this is when i'm going to be in i've also got my youtube uploads on there um but i've just got everything nicely planned out which will be good and keep me all organized okay so these are andrew's finished brownies to do a little taste test. I can't take all the credit. It was a joint effort. Betty <laughs> oh my god, they are actually really nice. Yeah, <laughs> you're actually really nice. Oh, yeah. I'll, make sure sure I'll give that like a ten out of ten. That's really nice. Yeah. Right amount of gooey. Nice. It's still warm, is it? Mm. Mm. That is really it's nice. Sick. Yeah, I've put it good. They're wow. really nice, actually. Mm. Can you taste it? Mm. Oh, right, right level gooey. A little bit. Oh god, Andrew's COVID being with What? Wait, what? Well, you taste it? A little bit. Guys, it. Andrew could taste again. <laughs> Holy fuck, they're amazing. They're really nice. They're pretty good. Oh my god. The secret of reading is COVID. <laughs> He's joking, Just guys. Just a little <laughs> Good morning, lovely people. So, I haven't updated my vlog in a day or two because I've been in isolation, as you know. And so, I thought I would end this freshers' vlog with a little uni QA just because this hasn't been the wild freshers' week vlog that I hoped and planned for. But never mind, you know, there are worse things in life. So, I thought instead I would just answer some of your questions. I asked you on Instagram for some questions, and I just thought I'd answer a few. Um, and yes, that's what we're going to do today. So first question, how do you feel about paying the same price for online uni? I actually feel completely fine with it. I think in terms of like material and what I'm actually being taught, I feel like I'm getting the exact same amount of support and help personally with my course. Um, maybe it's because a lot of our work is independent anyway. So I only have a lecture and a seminar per module every week anyway so i honestly don't feel like i'm missing out on that much obviously in terms of the experience yes i am missing out but then at the end of the day that's not really what i'm paying for i am paying for the degree itself next question what would you change if you could do year one two or three again do you know what honestly i probably wouldn't change anything there have been some really hard times and there have been some really amazing times as well would i change any part of my experience no because if I hadn't had those experiences, I wouldn't be where I am today. And I really like the position of where I am today. So no, I probably wouldn't actually change anything. So next question, can you talk a little bit about part-time jobs because of Corona, is it really bad to get one in the UK? Um, so I actually have a part-time job at a very busy student bar in the city centre of Nottingham. I would say it's not a bad thing to get a job right now. If you, if you need a job, if you want a bit of extra money, you know, and all that kind of thing, then I would say absolutely apply to places and try and get a job. If you're going to get a part-time job, I would say that this point in the year is probably quite a good time to look for one, only because all the third years have just left. A lot of places will be hiring for new positions because it's the start of the year and yeah i would say that if you're going to look for a part-time job now would be a really good time too in terms of my experience of working in a bar um i would say that working in a bar is very very fun it's very social um 
you know, I've had some really funny experiences working in that bar. Maybe one day I'll talk about them. Okay, next question. Does first year really matter? Okay, so technically your first year at university doesn't actually count. So as long as you as long as you pass your degree, aka get 40%, then you will be able to progress onto the next stage of your degree, into year two and year three. Um, does it matter? I would say that the skills you learn in first year are important for your like your academic development in terms of like your skills and stuff. Do I think that you should put tons of pressure on yourself and stress yourself out during first year of your degree and grades? Absolutely not. Um, because none of the assessments you do will count towards your degree, I think you should very much use all of your assessments as something to learn from and something to just use as a learning curve. Next question, what if I don't find my people? You know, lots of people say, you know, you, you will find your people at uni. There are so many different people, you will find your people. And I am one of those people, I have definitely said that. Because there are so many different opportunities to make friends at uni. Um, but I do think as well that it's important to talk about, you know, the low points. Like obviously not everyone is gonna, you know, make their friends straight away or find their people straight away. I mean, I have made the majority of my closest friends in my second year at university. So actually, a lot of the people I was friends with in first year, I'm not that close to now, to be completely honest. Um, and, you know, that's no shade, no Tino shade to them. It's just that, you know, as you grow and you get older, people, you know, you sort of outgrow people. And so whilst you might make friends in first year, you know, that you're really good friends at the time, they might not end up being that suited to you as a person don't worry if you don't find your people in first year because i didn't find my people in first year i'd say i found my people in second year just trust the process trust in yourself and keep putting yourself out there when you can i know it's so difficult at the moment with the pandemic i can't imagine how difficult it must be with the new curfew restrictions and everything being a fresher like that's just so crazy and i can't imagine what that must be like okay so which year do you feel has been the best for you as a whole so far at uni yeah i just have this incredible gut feeling that this next year at university is going to be my year regardless of covid like even if we stay in lockdown at uni i just i can't explain it you know when you just have that feeling that it is going to be the year that your life changes i think this year my life is going to change so i'm gonna take a gamble, take a bet, and I'm gonna say that this upcoming year is gonna be my best year at uni so far. Okay, and with that, I'm gonna round up today's Freshers Week vlog. Now, this has been a very, very strange vlog, um, and honestly, I don't know how this is all gonna to come together, <laughs> but thank you so much for watching today's video if you've got this far. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you'd like a notification every time I upload a new video. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, then my handle is Adam Horton. Follow me on there for all the most up-to-date information on what is going on in my life and follow me on TikTok. My handle is Adam Horton and the last O is a zero. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye!